Thank you for tuning in to the Pointless Talks podcast. This episode is being brought to you as a part of the many things that Pointless creates. For our returning listeners, thank you so much for coming back. And if this is your first episode, welcome, get comfortable, and please keep an open mind. All right. Hi, hello, good night, everybody. Good Jesse, morning, Jesse, good Jesse, afternoon. Jesse, 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 Jesse. I'm saying that in just greetings. Bye. Just little greetings. You want to say a prayer? Evening. What happened? No, don't, don't ring. Okay? <laughs> good evening and good night to all of you. And so those who are listening, all who are tuning in for the first time and all who are returning, them kind of something there. We got the people for them. The intro says that. So we have to say it again. Yes. Oh, Jesus. Welcome yes. back to all the returning listeners. Yes. If this is your first time. Thank you for joining us. Yes. Please keep an open mind because yes. I'm going to talk real keep over your song. Yeah. But. <laughs> exactly. You see, how that, you see how it feel? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Turn up the slackness. Anyways, um, not even I'm not actually since you said slackness. Oh, shit. You seen the video that's been circulating on the internet today? Which video is that? Because there's a lot of videos. Oh, the man went oh man catch him in a vehicle. Oh my gosh! Oh, in a broad God. daylight. Oh, broad she's... daylight in front Who's of your sure? apartment. Yes, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> okay first and foremost i just want to say drugs are bad first of all you could tell lean in okay first of all for those who haven't seen the video let's be clear we in the middle of bronx <laughs> in the middle of the bronx this guy is in the car with no tents on the front windows getting head from a trans woman you're not even sure, you see. A trans woman or maybe That's just it. an effeminate man. But right. One of either or, yes, was receiving fellatio broad. Yeah. Somebody said it was 2 30 in the afternoon. I was like, damn, why y'all know the no. time? Hey. <laughs> but yeah, broad daylight in front of his apartment building in the Bronx. And his baby mother came out with the baby. Crazy. And was recording as she was cussing him out in her full Dominican because yep. I know she's Dominican because she hit him with the mama huevo. And I was like, yes. ooh. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> the amount of maricon. And listen, I was like, yes. I know all the slurs. <laughs> yes, yes. She definitely ripped it. But my thing is, I'm trying to understand. He was how? on drugs. Yo, did you see how he came out the car? You, you mean how she dragged him out the car? Yeah, but like how he came out. even He was on the floor, like on the ground. Yeah, slow. slow. Yeah. He wasn't giving me like he was even. He was on like lean. Yeah. And then he was looking at her kind of like he was he was dazed. Like he wasn't really sure. Like, like, what? like he was chill. He didn't even say nothing the whole time. He was just like looking at her like, mm. I'm like, listen, drugs are bad. That's all I got to say. Drugs are bad. Whoever he was getting the fellatio mm-hmm. from was chilling. Yes, just sit on that stuff. Just sit on somebody, whatever. Come out with a kid and all that. You would be like, "Oh shit, I'm out." No, this mm-hmm. chilling, big chilling, and recording her back. Yes, my thing is maybe it was safer for them to stay in the car because maybe if she came out the car, the baby might put on on and she might, you know, because she seemed like she was ready. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. But it was a certain level of comfort that person had in the passenger seat. Yes. So and, I feel like and maybe the to record back. Recording the lady back with the baby and the guy didn't say something wrong. So you think they drugged him and set it up so that, you know, she said she's tired of him playing trade. She want her DL man to, you know, I come think home. Been a setup, of course. Huh? Yeah, I think it could have been a setup. Hell yeah. yeah. She want him to come home at night. She don't want to just be in a parking lot after the club. Apparently he was mm-hmm. a promoter or something like that. Mm-hmm. But you, I feel like it had to be a setup of some sort because. He looked like, wait, what's going on? Mm-hmm. And the one in the passenger seat just like, ha like, Yeah. Bitch, yeah, bitch. like, bitch. <laughs> but also, some I I didn't do a full translation on it, but, like, somebody said that the context of it sounds like she already knew he had dealings with men. So I was like, okay. Shut up. But they had me wilding in the comments. You know the comment section be friggin' flagrant. They was mm-hmm. like, is he bisexual or is he just a Dominican man? And I was like, 
why are y'all like this? I was yeah. like, what? Okay, also, wait, backtrack to him falling out the car or whatever. This man's whole ass was out. Yeah, he was on something. Yeah. Because it took him so long to pull up his underwear and his pants. Like his whole. What the hell was going on? He was just like dazed. Like, what? Yeah, I, I believe Shorty drugged him yeah, and made and sure they, they end him. up in that situation yeah, just to him. make sure. Because, first of all, how did you know to come downstairs? Who told you to come downstairs to see this well, man maybe in the car? Somebody said, well, if I am a man, I, I live in a neighborhood. Maybe somebody said the man and say, hey, girl, you know what I'm saying? Come on, dog stays, boy. I get that mm-hmm. head out. You know, the Whoa. neighbor, the neighbor upstairs, though, that. <laughs> yeah. It's to get in that neighbor. It's probably that neighbor who called her. I was like, 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 like mija, oh. bang, por favor, ahora. Mm-hmm. And probably it hasn't. <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> Maybe it, it was not even the first time. That's what I'm it's, saying. It's just, I feel like, I don't know. Some little, because just the There's way. A, yeah. The person sitting in the seat for me mm-hmm. and not moving. Comfortable. And not just like. Being completely dazed in space mm-hmm. about what the hell's going on. Unless he was yeah. playing dumb. Nah. He had to no. be playing real fucking good, nigga. That's an Oscar. Man, nah. look like he even button his pants back. Like seriously, Louis yeah. Vuitton belt. I drop off on everything. Just somebody mm-hmm. said this man you made a whole bunch of Louis Vuitton belt, huh? <laughs> everything. Somebody said he made a lot of bad decisions that day, including that bright ass pink shirt. Because you in the front seat when I was like, yo. But seriously though, like there's so much to unpack with that, and I was just like, even if. It was, like, a setup or whatever. Mm-hmm. And, like, you know, like, I'm never one for, like, outing people. Facts. Because at the end of the day, you know how, what kind of society we live in. You know Definitely. what I'm saying? Like, like fuck him for being, like, doing download shit because you got a woman at home and then you out doing, like, don't do that. Like, just be single. If you want to go get your dick sucked here and there, just be single. Don't bring no other woman into this. Like, it's a dick sucked here and there. Here and there I mean, that's your business. If you want to, you know, participate in homosexual activities, go ahead, but don't include women in it. You were saying the outing people thing, and it made me think of, um, what's that damn show? That damn ghetto show that we've been watching. The damn mm-hmm. bad boys thing, right? And mm-hmm. Kirk Franklin's son is on that show, right? Mm-hmm. And he's flamboyant. He's not. It's he just has his a own feminine? style. It's just okay. his own swag and style. But if you know, you know. You feel oh. me? If you got that eye, you know what's going on. And there are straight guys in that house too. And they've mm-hmm. been trying to like, yo, what are you? Like, you can we don't know if we want you to sit with us over here because we don't know what you like and whatever. And they're going back and forth, back and forth, trying to out this man. I'm like, first of all, it's way bigger for him. You know who his mm-hmm. father is. It's not just exactly. something that we can just bust out ha, with. Ha, ha, kiki. And if we, yeah. know, we know, just keep it on low. And they never stop until this until they got this man. Then everybody talking about this man, trying to figure out if he get. It doesn't matter. Like, is he trying to get at you? Exactly. As long as you don't feel like your fragile masculinity is freaking at risk. You should be fine. You can hang out with gay men and it don't be a problem. Like, it's, it's okay. And they don't even realize what you're doing. You don't realize the person. Because they don't have nothing to lose themselves. Their family, their anything, any kind of arrangements that they may have going on. People don't give a damn. People just be like, oh, well, exactly. so you relax. You don't know what this person got going on. Exactly. It's because they don't have nothing to lose themselves. That's why. That's so they right. don't understand the weight of it. Like, it's not just about sex. It's not just about who you're attracted to. Like, people's livelihoods be at risk behind this shit. Like, not even, like, your life, but, like, actually your livelihood. Like, how yeah. you move everything. in society. Everything. Like, household, funding, everything. like, everything. Status. So it's Nothing like... is, from a culture standpoint, mm-hmm. I don't think it's okay. I don't At like all. it. It don't do it. Mm-mm. I've had people try to get me to out people. I'm not doing that with you. No. You feel For me? What? And I'm talking about exactly. And I'm talking about home. Like trying to get me to out people. I'm not doing that with y'all. No. And you my thing is too, like, if I know that somebody is family and like mm-hmm. whatever, I'm not about to violate that and come tell you who obviously mm-hmm. are not that just want to know. Like, for what? You want like, them? Like because they try to let me tell you what people like to do. I realize. They'll find out, oh, like, cat, you gay, clearly. Duh. Mm-hmm. Duh. All right, cool. <laughs> Try to befriend, befriend you and mm-hmm. be like, so um, so who else then? Like, like trying to figure out. I'm not telling you shit. Your mama. Honestly. Your mama. Honestly. And your honestly. papa too. If them know him, they. But <laughs> that. Honestly, talking about, oh, so something that, um, 
What about she? No, 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 no. Don't ask me nothing. What about you? What about you? Anything. I hate that shit so much. It's sexual as far as I'm concerned. I don't know. I don't know people business. Like you feel like because niggas is gay that we just know everybody's gay. Even if we do, that's not your business. What they gotta do with you? You know how they say it, Jamaicans. Am I one too? Are you? Is he a one what? (laughs) <laughs> a one of what? A human being, yes. A, a very much so a human being. Nah, son. You know, that certain things don't play. And, it, you know, with guys, it's a little crazy. Like, you yeah. Know, they ask me something, try to see if somebody out, you draw out somebody next thing. We know things can happen. Uh huh. Like and I'm just not on nobody because there was a time yeah. where I wasn't out. In. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Like, I sit out here all the time and say, come out, it's warm out here, but I am very like cognizant of the fact that it's not that easy for everybody to come out not everybody (laughs) exactly not everybody is self-sufficient in a way that they can come out and not reap any like dire repercussions of coming out Mm -hmm. so i'm out here saying come out but don't think i'm like trying to drag nobody out the closet absolutely not like if you're comfortable and you're in a place in your life where you know i'm saying you have your shit together and you can come out and you'll feel comfortable Mm -hmm. because you no longer want to be in a closet then by all means but if your livelihood and your safety this is what I'm saying. Is at risk? Things. Like Stay your ass in that closet, bitch. The cult- fuck? Culturally, like, two, just, the, just to name those two things mm-hmm. already? Yeah, no, don't. Listen, a Jamaican Christian household. Okay, people. <laughs> like, huh. listen, I went through it too, but it's all and you about got, when people And ready. you got older Jamaican parents too at that. It's not even like your your parents are in their 40s and like yeah, I ain't got young parents. Yeah, uh-uh. young parents. <laughs> Thirty-five. Yeah, I don't nah. got, <laughs> I don't got our, those our parents are old. Our grandparents are like nineties, like yes, exactly and beyond. You feel me? So. <laughs> so yeah, we 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 are we were raised by a different era of people. So yeah, it, we understand yeah, it differently. Know. What <laughs> murder? <laughs> Listen, I I can only to, dream. Shout out, them, though. shout out to the folks because yes, yeah. growth. What? Listen, okay. listen. I wish that, guys, growth is possible. Okay. Listen, many of things say they're possible one time and you know, all, but yeah, frighten me. Frighten. I done been through it, but I'm out of it, and we're great. I was speaking to my mm-hmm. mother before this. We, you know, we chilling. We good. Growth. Yeah. Though. But you yes. gotta give you definitely you gotta give people their space and their time. To do oh, it. I was when just about to say. It. I think a lot of it has to do with space because especially like growing up, they feel like they have to be responsible for you. So, Mm -hmm. I mean, well, yes, but then it's kind of like, you know, everything else that goes into that, the weight of that and blah, 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 blah. And you don't even know from what aspect it is that they're looking at. Oh, that's wrong. It could be, I don't want you to be in danger. It could be anything, but you know what I'm saying? Like giving your parents. For my mom, I feel Mm -hmm. like, she had that worry. I feel like mm-hmm. she had that, like, oh my gosh, like, what are, like, I don't want you to, people to, you know, look at you yeah. and judge you and want to this you and that you. I was like, to be honest, lady, I'm getting judged right here in this house. Okay. And that's going to hurt more than any other, sh- any stranger Anything. on the road. So mm-hmm. it's like, yeah. yeah. And then also a lot of it, especially with Jamaican parents, is basically what they're going to say, what they're going to say, what they're going to say. Oh my mm-hmm. gosh, pit me, pit me at this, but pit me at that. Like, and they take it as a, damn, I, I failed, failed you. I failed. I fucked up. Um, what are we is like, da, 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 da. Yeah. Definitely at the time, look at me about to tell marvelous business. <laughs> you know, she was just like, there's no way I planned you and had you and you gay. I was just like, well, hell. Excuse me, what? Yes, bruh. Yes. I would see out, in that bruh. moment, I would have been yeah. like, that's because your plan does not matter. God's plan does. Next. I was just, I don't even remember <laughs> I, like my words at that moment. I think it was just kind of like, okay, but I am. Like, what I'm supposed to do about that? You made plans without my consent. <laughs> uh, it's going to be alive, but we got possible. So it's possible. You know, I didn't, I didn't yes. I know how that was going to go. It was rough, y'all. <laughs> but we made it through. We, you know, we Listen. Praises to growth, okay, because, and y'all need to allow y'all parents time and space to grow. Yes, because, like, yes, you can be like, oh, you can't teach an old dog new tricks, blah, 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 but at the end of the day, like, our parents really fuck with us at the end of the day. Like, we, of course, went through our shit with our parents and blah, 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 whatever. We both have been through our shit with our parents. And... (laughs) listen and it's like you Mm. give them the grace and the space to grow and you Mm. are amazed 
at the shit that they come back with after that time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, even like with my mom, like I think I've talked about it on here before, like her talking to me about like my anxiety and shit. And I was like, excuse me, what? Like, did you know that I have been struggling with anxiety my entire life? Like okay. <laughs> half the time that you like, oh, you're lazy or you're da 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 da. Nigga, yeah. no, this is anxiety. Like, anxiety like hell. Like uh, I am freaking out inside. I'm not saying freak, shit, but listen, freak, it's freak, on fire. Freak, 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 freak. The little so, me inside my head is running around. Listen, you like holy shit. Yeah, you have it's like, know? like what like the, the fuck is happening in your head? And it's like. like Listen, people talk about like your inner child or your younger self and whatever, whatever. Mm -hmm. That shit is so fucking real because it's like the little things that like you wanted as a child. And it's like now I'm getting this, whether I'm creating it for myself or some way, somehow, like the world is giving it to me. My mom is giving it to me, whatever. It's kind of like, holy fuck. Like, damn, nigga, you couldn't have done this 10 years ago. (laughs) Like, I mean, grateful, grateful, grateful that it's happening now. And it's like better late than never. But it's just like, damn. I mean, you know, of course, (laughs) absolutely, (laughs) absolutely. (laughs) But I gotta, I gotta, you know what I'm saying? I gotta understand the timing for where they come from and shit too. So it's kind of like they didn't know better. The people that we dealing with, Mm -hmm. some old tegger egg. The 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 pride of Mm -hmm. it all, like. Oh my god! Remember we looked up their zodiacs, Mm. (laughs) their birth charts. Yes, that was. Yeah, that was an eye opener, and I was like, "Mm." it was dead on too. No wonder y'all are like this. I don't have their rising, but like the sun, the moon, and the Venus. I was like, ew, (laughs) y'all. Yeah. So. Yeah, definitely. You have to give people time, and like, Mm -hmm. whether they like it or not. Y'all are still alive in this in this time and mm-hmm. in this world. Y'all gonna have to push y'all asses forward, whether you like mm-hmm. it or not. Like, it's funny. Like, I see my mom now, like texting and emojis and all this stuff. And Bruh. then I'm just like, look how long I was trying to teach you, and you didn't want to pick up. She was like, I true, but look, then no, look how I'm in. No, I'm like, <laughs> either one way or the other, you have to move along. Listen, with times. Like, my mother has an Instagram, and I need to go find it and block her. And what? this woman, first of all, I don't know where she. I, oh no, she told me her Pinterest pictures that she sends me with her morning greetings, the Happy Tuesday with a bunch of flowers and oh the something. Oh my god, <laughs> some of them <laughs> move and some of them don't. Yeah. I asked her one day. I said, "Bro, where do you get these pictures from?" Like old she said, card. "She said yes." She said, "Pinterest." I'm like, "I'm not What's gonna tell her not to stop to stop sending me them because <laughs> I know she's doing it to be nice." But it's like, "Dawg, you eating up my data with this shit." Mommy, mommy, <laughs> mommy what mommy like? Well, mommy is a Candy Crush girl, right? Mm. To this day, yeah. So she just sit there and play her Candy Crush. She like a little Facebook, but Candy Crush. Oh my gosh! I just be like, you know what? Y'all got it. Let me let y'all ease into society the way y'all do they it. Had to evolve. Mm-hmm. But it. yeah. So on the subject of that, kind of want to mm-hmm. segue into something I was thinking about. So remember, I tell you how Sunday, uh, my weekend was a doozy. It was a lot. And I got my notification to remove my birth control this morning. I was like, oh, it's PMS. Okay, we're normal. <laughs> Everything's okay. Everything's okay. But um <laughs> fix Wait, your face. I um, promise you, I did not think that that was what was gonna come out of your mouth. Like I it wasn't, but okay, um <laughs> birth control alarm. Yeah, I have an alarm to tell me when to remove it and when to put it back in. Because, yeah, I don't do... I have a vaginal Sometimes birth control like, for people who don't know. Like this, I'd be like, this is like woman stuff? Like, Yeah. Yeah. I like to control my menstrual cycle for the most part. So... Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Let me knock on wood because while I am capable to do so... Okay. Okay. I take advantage. Oh, God got me. Well. <laughs> but what yes though like the- <laughs> so i was really emotional this weekend like my emotions were on like tilt so um i'm not even gonna say it was completely because of pms or whatever but there was a sermon sunday morning and when i tell you <clears throat> every Hold on, single Wait. yeah let me grab my throat my throat <laughs> my throat did you say a sermon a sermon 
People them do that do them devotional and I write in a them journal and I play them like you know, morning church service. And I just want y'all to know every single time that I am in the presence of somebody preaching, it's they're preaching people. to me. Oh yes. It they just grab me and just drip That's me if I say, Hey you girl. Listen. The, the word it fits. No. no. <laughs> when when I tell you this fit from the man start talk. I was like, I legit said a lot. I said, why is this man talking about my business like this? Oh, listen. listen. No. I used to go to Trinity in Miami. Oh, my I gosh, yes. A white man, okay, <laughs> was watching my life, okay? Because every time I went, all of a sudden, he talked about this and stress. And, this and, and I'm just like, bro, if you don't shut your ass up. Like, <laughs> in church cussing, like, dog, can you stop? Can you relax, bro? But yeah, it, but I Listen. love it. that. To me, that always make means I was supposed to hear this message, right? Mm -hmm. And it was for me. And mm -hmm. I'm not, it's on purpose. Well, everything, it's purpose. So. Yeah. Yeah. So that's actually what the sermon was about, walking yeah. in your purpose. Yep. And when I tell you, because first of all, he listened to two different ones. Like, first one came on and I was like, okay, this is, ooh, draping. Wait, the second one, though. Wait, let's huh? I, I think it was on YouTube. I don't remember. Oh, okay. I don't remember. But I, I was just like, like that he... no, I think it was like one of them big pastors or something, them like mega church things. Mega and church. I was just like, okay, why are we doing this? And okay, when I tell you, like, I started crying. Like, when I told you I was crying, I got up and was in the bathroom bawling my eyes out. Like, Amen. big, boo-hoo, ugly-ass crying. Touch her, touch her. Snot running, eye water. Like, touch I was in that bitch Lord. crying. <laughs> Listen. My sister in Christ. <laughs> yes, sir. Hear you. So, you I was... Face. Like, oh, <laughs> nice. Grab our up. Yeah. And also in all of this, I felt the presence of my grandmother. You see? You see? <sighs> grab grab her up. Listen, when I tell you I was in shambles, my nigga, like shambles. Because the started, Bible app yet? <laughs> I've been had the Bible Bible app. That's been okay, on my phone for years. To make sure, you know, I'm doing recruitment. Oh so. no, for years. I have my Bible in my house too. Like I'm, yeah, I ain't got nothing job. against the religion. I, I just, you know, I got that. questions. I know that. <laughs> but you felt grandma, which is all listen, I who mm. when I say felt grandma, like I felt like okay, so backstory. Grandma mm -hmm. didn't used to go to church with us because you know she had a stroke way back in the day, so left side wasn't as strong as the right side. So we used to walk to church cuz daddy um wasn't usually home Sundays cuz he used to go back to the farm or like daddy wasn't going to church. Mm -hmm. So grandma used to make sure Sunday morning we wake up dressed, fed and send y'all asses to church. Like mm -hmm. we gone. Me and me and them walk gone to church and she like special occasions we might she might want to walk to church like Easter Sunday or something like mm -hmm. that or like Mother's Day or whatever. But it was like I just felt the presence of like it felt like a Sunday morning with grandma like getting me ready dog. Messed you up. Listen Mess when I tell you I haven't place. cried like that in a long time, I was like, this is everything that I've been like putting in the back of my mind and everything. Like, yeah. <sighs> Still. Mm. Cup running two of us. Listen, and of course it's me. So the, the crying was intense, but it didn't last too long. It I had to, last too long, of course. you know, yeah. wash off my face, yourself. son. Not Listen, hey, hey. when I tell you, my face looked like shit. And thankfully, people them in that journal, them running yeah, up. Yeah, because you're not even, you kind of, you know, you, you're a little Yeah, I'm, I'm bright. Mm -hmm. you're a little light. Face was oh, red. Oh, I puffy. Oh. Listen, the whole lot is yeah, red I up. Can, Just... I can get away with murder, let me tell you. <laughs> It's a black, black, <laughs> black this year. Your key on no blush, she has energy. Listen. Not so fortunate over Maybe here. Because his eyes big, my eyes going to tell you I was crying. That's a Listen, it. everything was just, psh, but. Wow. Um, so you had a moving, I love this for you, friend. Like a moving Sunday. Nice. Listen, moving, nice. moving. So. For the, the whole premise, like I said, it was talking about like walking in your purpose and like doing the things that you were put here to do and mm -hmm. making sure yeah. that you're doing it. So they were talking about the different reasons why people don't do what they're supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's like you have this skill, you have this talent and you're not doing anything with it because yeah. listen, hold listen. On, hold on, please. I'm not even, <laughs> I'm not even prepared to hear this. I don't think. 
I'm exactly. not even prepared, but I feel like you're about to point at me, and I don't <laughs> like it. I feel, oh, I feel the heat. Oh, I don't like Listen, that was Go legit ahead. me. I'm laying in the bed trying to sleep. Like, what is... <laughs> can you not (laughs) like so it was just talking about like the different reasons why people don't do you know i'm saying the things that they're destined to do the things that they're called to do and one of the things that they mentioned was like um the fear of success which i know i have a real serious thing with that the fear of success the fear of failing you know perfectionism and um basically damn like we call them shit like a oxymoron yeah and that's that such too. a damn seesaw like mm-hmm. it's like i know i'm gonna be great but, mm. but mm. and then <laughs> and then they're also talking about like failure to like societal so basically you don't want to leave like your friend group or like your family behind or whatever you feel like if you make it there that people are going to think that you know oh you're too good now or you know he he used the reference like when you get um financially well off and you buy a bigger house somewhere else and like oh you moved out the hood yeah but not even necessarily (laughs) to like rich and switch but like people thinking you you rich and switch Mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so it's like the fear of people thinking that about you or like the fear of like you know and i think he called it like settler syndrome or some shit like that yeah. so it's basically like you want to stay in a um barrel of crabs basically so it's like yeah, you don't want to get out and whatever yeah, and i was just like down i was like it look good around these people exactly when you know you over there doing what you gotta do exactly you know? yeah. so he was going in and like giving like deep in-depth like talks about each different kind and i was just sitting there like oh my god why are you doing this i was just like (laughs) legit i was just like i really need to get my shit together like i really need to get my shit together like even if it's just the podcast because at the end of the day like i started the podcast because i wanted the podcast Mm -hmm. i wanted something for queer caribbean people because there was nothing for queer caribbean people shout out Mm -hmm. to the people who have come up after and made their platform for you know their audience that are also Mm -hmm. queer and caribbean but Mm -hmm. at the end of the day like i know that our platform Mm -hmm. reaches people in the way that i intended for it to reach people Mm -hmm. so even if it's like you know at one point it was literally just me just pointless talks just i'm just blurbing whatever the hell comes out of my mouth is just therapeutic for me and it's like my verbal journal type of thing Mm -hmm. but like the feedback that we get from like people that listen and I'll just be like, Oh my God, y'all listen to this bullshit. <laughs> you know what I'm <laughs> like yep. y'all be, t- y'all be getting value out of this. <laughs> like, exactly. I'm like that shit everybody. means a lot to me. And it's like, dog, like I this is I, why I struggle with that. I think what I struggle with that, that part. Cause I think to myself, like I'm a great DJ. Mm-hmm. I should post videos. I should do TikToks. I should do this. But don't look, don't start <laughs> bullshit. Don't start with me. Okay, leave me alone. Anyway, and it's just like, damn, but should I? Because like there's like a million other people out here doing the same shit. So it's a good But ain't no dumb sugar, no young lion. What you mean? That part. And then I have that part in my head that's like, what the fuck you talking about? Slap your chest. But you know. And then people don't be knowing how to do transitions. What are you talking about? The fuck? That anyway. Is the facts. <laughs> that is the facts. So yeah. <laughs> So, I mean, I get that because I also, like, part of me is, like, everybody has a podcast. Like, yeah. You know, like, there's the Read podcast if you want, like, a little splash of culture or but whatever. You you, some... But you are you. At the exactly. Day, you have something to give. Your purpose was your Exactly. Purpose. And it's your like. Purpose and somebody else's purpose might look like because there's something, you know, you guys are similar. The same, yeah, lane or whatever. It's nothing. We're not the mm-hmm. same. Exactly. Yeah. So, it was like that that shit like had me like dog even if i come on here and do like a fucking 15 minute episode if i feel like shit i need to drag myself out and we got to make sure that even if it's like i come in like listen i'm sick y'all um stay black mm-hmm. keep hope alive okay, <laughs> like little... to make sure exactly put something out weekly just to like keep the consistency going because at the end of the day like even back when i think was it when i went to st vincent i came back sounding like shit <laughs> i think mm-hmm. i did an episode and somebody was like you really did this fucking episode sounded like that. I was like, my bad. But well, people appreciated that. Like right. people still was like, all right, I fuck with that. Cause that was a different level of real. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's like, I'm not saying I'm going to kill myself over it. Cause it's literally one episode a week. Like, it's not like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I just want to make sure that I'm at least consistent with the podcast itself. Even if I'm not consistent with everything else. Cause you know, mm-hmm. 
shit be happening but i want to at least be able to like keep us consistent with this because that shit when i tell you that mm-hmm. shit drip me up my god i said what me do you we never do you know you have to grab me up in my chest sir and i definitely feel you because i have my times like after i'm done everything i lay down and then i'll be like oh shit tuesday mm-hmm. Bitch, mm-hmm. Whoa, get up get up get up get up get up get up, get up, get up, get up, get up cat or whatever like last week you know i told yeah. you about this and I had, listen a nap took me out son <laughs> And I was like, oh, and then she, you know, she got into contact with me. She used the bat signal. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yo, but I was like, nah, let's get up. Let's mm-hmm. get up. We can get up and do this. Mm-hmm. You know, let's talk shit like we normally do. Duh. Exactly. Because it's <laughs> vibes. At the end of the day, it's vibes. It's not like, this doesn't feel like work for me. And that's the thing about it. Up. Like, yeah, it's the same shit we do when we link up. So it's Thank like. <laughs> Yeah, not the but, same exact thing. It's a bit more uncut. Yeah, yeah it's <laughs> woo. <laughs> so, woo shit, whoa. Yeah, it's a little rough. You know what I'm saying? That shit will get us canceled. Yeah, that will get us canceled. That will get us canceled. Yeah, listen, what? Mm-mm. Oh, listen to pointless talks. They're this. Yeah, I know my. Oh they're shit! Not, Speaking of cancellation. Listen, I be telling y'all. Listen, read my bio on Twitter on my personal page. Um, don't pay me no yeah, mind, okay? Do not. Before you even come with the shit. <laughs> but um, you saw the clip earlier of um, was it some Peter people trying to come at Little Kim? But don't wear fur, Black hat, nigga. What's up? Yeah. Hey, I was Black like, hat, the caption said y'all forgot she was from Brooklyn. <laughs> exactly, Little Kim of Brooklyn. Like, what's up with you? <laughs> like. Yeah, Y'all think they, she and was that lady, she, and that lady back back too. Like, uh huh. You felt the pressure that was coming. Don't do that. I like, like her security or whoever that is. That lady, yeah. that lady, she mm-hmm. don't play. I like her. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She. I was like, I need me one of her. <laughs> <laughs> For real, try. Trying it <laughs> No, but she had did an interview after that, and she was talking. She was like, "Listen, I don't care what you do, but you start coming into my personal space. That's a different story." Yeah, she was God. like, "Protest." She's like, "Go ahead, stand up for what you believe and protest." You know, go ahead if you don't believe that. You know, but people should be over there. Yes, like first of all, I'm a consumer. You could tell me don't buy the fur, but guess what? They still making the fur. Talk to the like exactly. big company. I'm just the little man. Like, like, and how about I like my fur? So I'm gonna that, like listen, everybody don't believe in the shit that you believe in. Like, oh, that. Care. Like, let's just go into it. Y'all ain't gonna cancel me because I don't give a damn about no fur stuff. Like, it is what it is. Like, y'all be kissing dogs in the mouth and shit. Like, I don't care. Like, ew. <laughs> listen, like, y'all be doing all types of weird shit. Let people do what they want to do. Nobody can't say nothing to y'all about y'all pets. That's so nasty. <laughs> Nobody can say nothing to these people about their animals and shit. And they be doing all types of shit. They value, mm-hmm. a lot of these people value animals more than they value human life anyway. And I don't care how y'all feel about that because I ain't But that's that. a fact, but though. I feel the old side on them. So that's me grew up. Yeah, I saw me grew up. Like, yeah, I've been we'll thinking, oh, I might. In house. Maybe we have I... a dog in the bed and shit. Like, Oof. what you talking about? Get your ass a teddy bear and put the dog Mm-mm. down. Like, what's wrong with you? Mm-mm. Weird. Mm-mm. Big See? old great pains. <laughs> Yo, these be the one be like, dog, that shit is taller than you, son. Dog bigger than you. Yeah, I'm sure taller than me. <laughs> <laughs> taller than a lot of these niggas. Shit. <laughs> it's them something that stand up on their back foot about seven foot tall. No, Listen, I don't have time for it. Nah. Listen. Mm-mm. Well, you went to Peter? You, how you feel? You like Peter? Like, me? You Listen. Like you wear fur? I like yeah. I like Peter Bread. But um little pita pocket, put my little, you know, my little falafel. I'm gonna go but, example, you know, okay. <laughs> I personally, um, if you wanna wear your fur, wear your fur. That's I eat meat. I eat meat, so I can't say nothing about nobody wearing no fur. And I'm probably never gonna stop eating meat or seafood at that. So it's kinda like you can't seafood. be seafood can't stop get eat, girl. That's what I'm saying, Maybe especially like I get honestly, I can see myself stop eating meat, but seafood that not gonna wear. Sorry, me love, me love a steam Same. fish. Same, love a steam fish. No, sir, because I can see myself become like pescatarian. Yeah, I could do yo, I ain't gonna lie, yo, Mm-mm. lots and everything, but the swine got <laughs> so cold, y'all. Sometimes I like me a little bacon, Listen. and my papa makes really good pork. I look a jerk pork from time to time. I'm sorry. I listen. Mm. I don't I try to eat not as much as I used to. Yeah, no, I definitely don't. You know what I'm saying? Definitely but don't. I can count how many times I've eaten pork in the last year. Like it's oh. it's not that often. 
I'm gonna. <laughs> oh, well, you know, it's horrible because I don't really even consider bacon pork, but I know it is. Right? So it's kind of right? like. <laughs> yeah, good somebody. You know what's going on. Yeah, good gal. Yeah. That more I hear. Yeah, good gal. <laughs> My father would disown me. He actually already, he was like, you know, I'm pork. Yes. If you see me with my locks and be like, Russ, yeah, eat pork. I'm like, listen, this is a hairstyle and not a lifestyle. I am glad my father came to that um level, that plateau mm-hmm. to realize that locks are definitely a fashion statement nowadays for most people. It's not, you know. Exactly. Yeah. Father, so love the rest of the life, you know, I love oh, it. Oh, love it. The conscious lifestyle, of course. Mm-hmm. Still, you know, like I'm like a rent a dread. <laughs> kind of vibe that's me like a little rent I guess so. you know sometimes here sometimes there exactly <laughs> yeah. yeah but the whole Peter thing I don't believe in um forcing anybody to do anything to begin with Any so anything. anything yeah nothing at all so the whole like oh don't wear fur don't wear fur listen everybody knows where the fur comes from they know that it takes 50 chinchillas to make a coat they know that it take whatever whatever if they want to spend their money on that they spend their money on that if you want to do something about it you should go you know find a wildlife reserve or something and try to ban them from killing the animals whatever the hell it is that they go to go kill the animals to turn them into coats go there and try to protest there if that's what you want to do with your life like Go you, but honestly, for your own safety, don't run up on people. Like, do not. Like, you running up in people's faces on something. Like, oh, listen, don't don't do that. Do not, because if that was anybody else, you could have gotten shot in broad daylight because you thought it was cute to just run up on somebody. And like Little Kim said in the interview, she was like, my parents, somebody, like I guess her family upbringing or whatever was like, don't yell because when you start yelling, you don't know who the fool is. No matter how right you are, you're being loud and aggressive. Exactly. You don't know who is, what what the message is. It's just, you're being aggressive. Yeah, man. I'm about to react. So run up, get done up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> Whoa. I'm saying people need to be mindful of the things that they're doing. Yes, go you, you're doing it for a great cause. Whoop de woo. But be mindful of what you're doing and where you're doing it and how you're doing it. Because it seems a lot of me, but I just think there are so many more other things that are going on that could really Yeah, there are starving people like that y'all anyway. walk past to go do this. Cold. Go feed the get... people that that's starving the chicken. This is what I'm saying. Like <laughs> <laughs> that's what i'm saying like let me have a decide to get a fur one day listen okay and let's make sure i have trouble with me man listen i'm gonna take that fur and beat so how they be throwing paint on I people and shit you. oh i hate that i hate like that. so now you, you want to damage the fur treat. oh watch you get sued now now you gotta clean this fur mm-hmm. and replace this fur mm-hmm. okay now your money don't went to some fur to some fur exactly so yeah just that whole movement like i feel like them and like people who try to convince you to be vegan they're just so aggressive with it yeah. it's just like a vegan thing like they just like oh you should you should be eating clean and you should be and i'm like yeah go you you know making yourself healthier whatever whatever but like y'all keep trying to give people like cauliflower and calling it buffalo chicken and i am not I'm, with the kids and i will look i'm spitting it back in the plate and I know that's disrespectful, but I'm spitting it back in the plate. First of all, I don't even like cauliflower. Secondly, like no, like at all. N- no, okay. I love broccoli, but I heard that's fake. But cauliflower, I, I don't what? like something about what? it. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Somebody said broccoli. Bro- broccoli is lab grown. It's not grown, you know, like in the earth. It's not real. A lot of things are fake. Apparently, we're in a simulation. Well, I know that. <laughs> that I know, but what are the? I know we're in assimilation. I know that. But what are the car facts on that one? It's not grown. It's not like a naturally like so, it was man made, invented in a lab. Basically, like somebody developed broccoli. I was like, that's the one vegetable I like. When did they develop this? Because I've been eating broccoli for a long time. This is what I'm saying. Like exactly <laughs> when did they come up with that one? Yeah, you know they be having all these little conscious and what you call it conspiracy theories that they just i just child oh, i just i, re- I just I repeat it like me a good conspiracy theory every now and again what i believe is what i believe but i i will share y'all you know the conspiracy theories <laughs> i will share the word but 
Mm-hmm. Can't manage. But yeah, like, don't don't try to feed me nothing that looks like meat and tell me that, oh, this is plant-based. No, 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 no. I was no, about to ask you no. something about conspiracy theory, too. <laughs> well, mm-hmm. Before you, I was going to be like, you believe in, like, this reptilian thing? Oh, my God. I feel like you asked me this before, and I just... I love to ask people that, because people be like, what? What's cat? What? Like, I just... Because, honestly, what? I ain't got time for this shit. Let me yep. start off. Listen, I'm not going to play with y'all, because I don't know what who listening to this, and next thing you know, I ain't in trouble. Mm-hmm. They're going to swap you out. You're going to be a clone. You don't remember what happened last time I talked about somebody. We got... Yeah, mm. yeah a nice pullover. Hell no. Nah. That was... That was so wild. That was the same night. Can't manage, okay? Mm-hmm. Cannot. But mm-mm. you see, um, what's his name buying Twitter? Elon. Mm-hmm. Forty four Bill. <sighs> Everybody's saying all the black people going back to Black Planet. <laughs> I, yep, I'm with it, y'all. I'm with it, y'all. I'm with the shit now. Hey, does Downlink still exist? Girl, if y'all listen, do not go back on Downlink. Downlink is ghetto. (laughs) Downlink was like, yo, you had to be there. Listen, her is ghetto. Okay, the her app is ghetto. Her Her is it is woman seeking woman in non-binary. Wait, 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 wait. So les, okay, so it's for like lesbians, but also, I guess FTM. MTFs, uh, no both. Um, but it's her, so it's not. I, I, mm. Oh, her in all forms. Yes, so it's her in all forms, like you said. Yeah. Past, present, future. That's what I'm saying. Past. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. And you, you, what are you doing on there? What do you be doing on there? Idle. You know, I said a devil find play for idle hands. Idle. <sighs> <laughs> I um you know I'm trying to meet people in the area, make some friends and whatever happens happens. I'm not seeking anything specific. I just don't want nobody to come bring me stress in my life. And that's it. Meaning friends or Yeah, friends and everything in between. Oh, everything in between. Okay. Yeah. okay. If it okay. if it turns into something else, it turns into something else. But you know, I now I really go up on there and say, Oh man, I look for my wife, yeah, so cause mm. my wife. My wife. Yeah. So <laughs> you're Would funny. You woman? Absolutely. Absolutely. Man, you really on that gay shit. You're so funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not like those other bisexual people who be like, mm, I can't see myself really with a woman, but you know, I'll marry a man. No, I'm. We can have fun. Hey. Have fun. Listen, you know, honestly, random fact. Um, in all my life, like actually, like seriously, like sitting down and thinking about settling down, I've only ever envision myself marrying a woman like yeah that's gay as hell niggas are disappointing like <laughs> like yeah. i'd be i'd be involved with a man and then like it'd be cool and then i just start seeing shit i'm just like i'm not it's not gonna work i'm not gonna do this but like women are just fucking everything like women are glorious i don't care women gonna be the uh, death of me yeah, I, am, <laughs> I am so tired i'm <laughs> Tired. Everyone is tired of me tired. and the, the male speech. Tired, like ugh. men are easy. Nothing easy, no work so, happen. That's a problem. Man, if you listening and you qualify, you know, preferably a Caribbean woman, you know. No, Prefer- no, not preferably. Have to be. Me tired. Well, yeah, has yeah. to be. I've never dated an American, like an American American woman, though. Like one time, but nah, nah. Listen, you have to be, or like, if yeah. you're not, like, you must be inclined. Like, you, like, you gotta know what the hell's going on. Yeah, cause I'm Jamaican as hell. And at <laughs> least, and like, and at least have been around and been somewhere, and you gotta have a passport. Like, yes, please. It would be like good if you were like preferably Caribbean, cause like when we talk in, like, yeah, I don't want to have to translate. I don't have to speak like, English. Don't ask me what did you say. What does that mean? can't with that <laughs> thank god oh mm. thank god look at you 
Mm, blessings. Bless. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Girl. You never know, you know, you never the things think to be grateful it. for. Yeah. You, you never think because we've got enough, we know. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's funny because like the older i get the more i'm just like i have to be with somebody caribbean like i have to be even if you're not jamaican even though i would love to be with a jamaican like oh love but on a a frightening woman woman or a jamaican man either or because jamaican at the end of the day i am jamaican i want jamaican children but on a frightening bad differently like mm -mm. which ones the wall of them okay Okay. the wall of them (laughs) Like, either I'm going to get chopped up or I'm going to end up throwing acid on somebody. It's one of the two. So I just, you know, yeah. I know that's a bad stigma to have against my people, but I know y'all. I know y'all. So it's like, <laughs> but yeah. yeah, listen, ideally a Jamaican woman, who Lord, mm, take my money, take my money, take my money. But <laughs> yeah. Um, y'all hear this? <laughs> Do y'all hear this? I haven't even been drinking. Uh-uh, it's time to go. <laughs> Mm-hmm. But <laughs> yo, TMI, TMI. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, no. listen. No, 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 no. Just no, bro. Okay. You said TMI. It's just no. Like don't, no, don't. Fuck. Go ahead. Go ahead. So like. Remember I mentioned how I've been trying to be healthy? I've been trying to be healthy, right? <laughs> tell me how I decided to go have mall Chinese food yesterday. Bruh. Can I Dog. Wait, wait, where you had it from? Uh, Soku, Sarku, Japan. They look oh. old. Wanna be hibachi something in that oh, mall? I like me um what I like the Oriental Express. The Mandarin. Oh, yes, I the wish Mandarin, they had that there. Mandarin, Mandarin yes, Express? Mandarin something. Yeah. We might need to listen, but anyway, carry on. Listen, I wish they had that one in Lennox Mall, but <laughs> bruh, my life been in shambles. My body's like, uh, uh-uh, uh, we don't do this anymore. What are you trying no, to do? Oh, really, son? Feel like I'm gonna take wash out. Like my life is in shambles. <laughs> I oh, was well, like been incorporating a smoothie thing, so Mm-mm. that's a lot of green. So whenever listen, we like green yeah. is the color of the day. <laughs> okay. Because God, God, chloroform and everything, child. Mm, for real? Look at y'all. Cut it down. Girl, please. It's a greenery. Oh, I yeah. am listen, I am down to like 35 pounds to go. With my inconsistent exercising and my You're fake dieting. I need to go 35 more pounds. I've lost 20. Okay, pounds. friend. Uh-uh. <laughs> and uh-uh. keep in mind this is with me being inconsistent with my exercise i'm fine y'all listen you know <laughs> may i try a ting may i try and you know? i am just spreading like rumors listen i <laughs> not spreading like rumors <laughs> friend <laughs> I am. I don't know what is happening with my ass. I'm just beefy as hell, and I don't know what is going on with me. But it's okay. We're gonna get right again. I don't. You know, it's funny. I don't see the physical changes, but I tried on a dress the other day I wore to work that I used to feel like a busted can of biscuits in, like not back in <laughs> listen, like August September. I felt like a my busted nigga. can of biscuits in that <laughs> shit. Like it shit was tight. It was when I'm dressed with no stretch, bro. And, so, so, and it just like <laughs> squeeze out like a bit. Yes, sir. Dog. No, I put on the dress and I was like, oh shit. It put on nice. Like, oh, okay. 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 <laughs> okay. 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 I'm going to get something that works. Something that work. Then I don't go to gym for like two weeks and then go back for two days. <laughs> mm-hmm. I need discipline. That's my problem. I need discipline. I'm not the discipline. Pile my pile. I don't want to do it. I'm not going to do it. So. But, you know, all I know is I think about it. I'm just like, oh, if you were disciplined, you would already be at your, like, goal weight right now goal weight goal everything because i started working out at the beginning of february it is mm-hmm. april now i would that's more than 60 days yeah, february yeah. march yeah but yeah, listen i gave myself to my birthday so I'm just that's like, good that's really push on good go true yeah i'm just you know that's push really on go good. true like, i'm yeah. listen i i know myself okay <laughs> i know oh, myself so yeah, i gave myself time. exactly because <laughs> i feel that though because uh, I, 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 I get there. Let's not. Until we did. Get there. Get there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
But yeah, um, what else may have I gone through? Yeah, so what is this? What is this? Oh, we didn't do a good gal of the week last week. And um, I had a good gal of the week last week. Who was that? And Ro. Mango. Yes. Okay. Miami Mango. Um, For those of y'all who don't know, actually, you know, y'all should know because she was on the episode um, way, 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 way back in the day. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Yes, she was. Okay. She was on the episode way back in the day. And um, she has a cosmetic line. She has lashes, lip glosses. Um, she's a cosmetologist. She does massage therapy. She's Haitian. She's <laughs> LGBTQIA+. Plus, you know? Mm-hmm. And, you know, like, sis is out here doing her fucking thing. Listen, if y'all don't know this about me, I don't really do makeup. So, like, lip gloss and eye stuff, like, lipstick, lip gloss, that's literally my go-to if I'm doing anything to my face. And she got this lip gloss. It's clear. It's called wet. Mm-mm. Baby. Mm-mm. When I tell you Mm-mm. shits look wet. <laughs> shits look wet. So when she first launched, I had bought one. I bought that. And I think I got some lashes and an eyeliner. And um You're giggling talking about this shit look wet. As your brother, I'm looking at you like nigga, what the- <laughs> <laughs> keep going nigga Lady segment <laughs> so the lip gloss I fell in love with lip gloss immediately because it smells delicious I believe it has like mango scents or something like that it smells good like I'm sitting there like damn I want to like mm, it. yes mm-hmm. but no because no but um shit was good as hell and I'm like went back on the website to go buy another one and it's like sold out and I'm like hit no I tell you I've been annoying this woman like when are you re- say, relaunching? You her up, right? Oh, definitely. And I have. <laughs> be in her DMs, be in her messages, her notification. Um, when when are the lip glosses coming back? She's like, oh my God, they're coming. Stop. Stop. They're coming. Whatever. Listen. <laughs> when I said my girl said come back, my girl said come back. We have packaging. Damn, I should have brought it with me so I could show you. Packaging. The tube has the brand on there. It comes in a That's box that has the brand I've on seen. there. I remember when it, she was first dropping. And yes. We, yeah, I remember seeing it all over. All the girls was getting it and on um, Twitter and all that. Yes. I was like, I yes, Ro. I was like, okay. Show With her on. bright orange packaging and shit so you know <laughs> what it is. Like, come on. I was like, bitch. Yes, so... Ro is definitely, you know, good y'all of the week. Um, it is Miami Mango Brand. You can find her on Twitter, Instagram. I believe the website is also MiamiMangoBrand.com. But let me double check and find out for sure. But definitely go on over there. Get you some lashes and, you know, all the other things that the women's be getting. <laughs> Wait, so that was She's Your Good Girl for last week? Yeah, but like so I'm just doing, I'm just doing yeah. it this week because I didn't do it last week. Oh, I didn't. Me think come with two. Me think so like the one. The oh, next no, me not have a next one. You I just don't want them to have. Girl. No, why you have somebody you want a good girl? Um, because there are many good girls in the world. Yeah. Where the heck is this? My something? mother. Always. My mother is the original good girl. Listen. Two of them. Y'all welcome. Like what the hell? Listen, my mother is the epitome from yeah, it's definitely Miami Mango Brand.com. Everything is spelled how it sounds, Miami Mango Brand.com. But yeah, my mother, listen, original good gal. Okay. Good girl, not a judge. Original good gal because original stuff out. And this is gonna sound weird, even though like it's a thing that's psychologically proven. I feel like the ideal woman for me has to be somewhat like my mother as far as like femininity because my mother is the epitome. Unfortunately. The epitome of what a woman is, in my opinion. Okay, I'm gonna say style and grace. <laughs> yeah. You got to yeah. have it, baby. Oh my gosh. So I could, yeah, because, yeah, yeah, I can mm-hmm. see that. <laughs> I can see that. My mom is unbothered as hell. So I yeah, know. she no, my, my mother be bothered. But she see, I she can appreciate you being unbothered as well. Yeah. Don't bother me, you know? Yeah, my 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 mother be <laughs> she gonna be bothered. Be bothered though, because my mother is very like 
she not with all the emotional mm-hmm. things. She's like, okay, like relax, like all that crying shit. Like, <laughs> me and mom, my mother is straight fire, like waterworks, but, but, but she not but with I the like, shit. Like, but I like, I don't know, but see, but I need somebody who could be, I could be softer. Mm-hmm. So it's like some, there's some elements of her that would uh-huh. be nice to sprinkle, but then some of it, maybe because culturally time and place time and, and stuff like that and some cult some stuff is just built in that's yeah. just like yeah mom is mm-hmm. like, you know rough you know what i'm saying some stuff is just like what i like <laughs> for life go kind of thing mm-hmm. like you ain't got time to be sitting here where you're not gonna see her sitting around crying about no spilt milk ever so mm-hmm. that i don't know i need soft a little a little soft <laughs> Lord, like, look at tenderness. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm a little, little rough. I could be a little rough, so I need like a little, like, yeah, to, like, a little. Woo. Just meet me where I fall off. Beast. That's Just it. I'm the beast a little bit. Yeah, that's all. But it's all about complimenting. <clears throat> cool, yeah. Really? really? Yeah, 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 yeah. Your beauty, your beauty. Mm-mm. <laughs> Funny. Okay, so. We got anything else, or are you good for the night? Me, I am good enough. I am good yeah. enough. Yeah, so um, we have nothing else fun this. People, as usual, my PSA is weekly. Y'all be safe. Um, me not know. <laughs> Y'all stop wearing masks, right? So I'm gonna say wear your mask. They surely did. Yeah. They surely yeah, did. That was Kamala ass getting COVID though. Yeah, you know about seeds. Come on, no. <laughs> How funny! Um, Imagine, girl. I don't even at this point have fun. Everyone, <laughs> wear your mask if you want to wear it, and if you don't, you don't. Um, y'all be safe. You man. grown at the end of the day, it's so it's your up. life. That's what I'm saying it's warming up. Y'all be safe, please, please, please. That's about mm-hmm. it. I ain't got really nothing to say. I'm sure next week will be nice and cute because then we're gonna have to recap the weekend. Mm-hmm. We're oh, having Jesus. a good old weekend. I'm tired I mean, thinking about it. <laughs> I didn't even hear about it. I guess Igloo is this weekend. Mm-hmm. Look that up. That's all I'm gonna give you. Yep. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I feel tired as well. Yeah. Already. I'm old. Yeah. Bad. Yeah, well, you know, may I have a well, couple Red Bull in my fridge. I want mm. Magnum. Um, hey. <laughs> but yeah, so I mean, you making drinks? You know it. You even asked me like, what? What's up? Like you didn't ask because me. I gotta. We ain't get there yet. I gotta go hey. buy liquor. And... Yeah, I'm saying like you gotta let me know. I know, I know. I gotta figure that part out. It's just Tuesday. Mango after. I know. I think I actually might already have the mango nectar. So. <laughs> but yeah, I was trying to get Nanai to make some friggin' corn chowder and or like some co- corn soup yeah, and so some... what? Corn <laughs> some chowder. Corn. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hold on. Pause. No, 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 no. So you trying to corn soup? Clam- Wait, not clam. Here we go, clam soda. <laughs> you trying to bring corn chowder into the people? Them, um, yes. What the hell? Because friend, friend. If, no. If you saw the amount of food that I brought the last time, bro, yes, like we're gonna not know corn corn chowder. I was thinking about you know how good the soup is gonna be after the liquor like touch me. Oh, I can't do it. Like oh. I hear you, but I but she not making it because she got work. Oh, so she so ain't we, oh, no, she, ain't she really not coming. She coming to the after party yeah. though. Boo! Cause she worked a double Friday and then she worked like she working. She I working, guess. working. I guess. You well, know, I'm not us, one to make tell. Us, make us a little plate. I, I'm saying, they right? They love us. Go ahead, Chef and I. We are requesting. I don't know, a little something, whatever you, you know. Want to make. You two, me? two fry dumpling. You know, just... no, man, somebody have to make two sandwich then, man. Because <laughs> listen. <laughs> Listen, listen at this point two pan beef sandwich hello listen i was legit like i'm about to go buy some yummy bread <laughs> and watch it on car beef exactly for the phone and i saw listen somebody been to- <laughs> bitch and you know we're greedy ass gonna be sitting on the fucking grass eating that shit like listen, well into the party, night slap how many times slap it on listen and always. the yummy bread especially when it costs oh listen mm. 
Yeah, somebody. No, we gotta do something though. We gotta bring snacks, something. Yeah, some kind of whatever. I want to get some fruit too. Oh yes, fruit. Yes, yeah, gotta make a list. You gotta make a list because we need we need to run around anyway. Okay. Yeah. So you got some good running yeah. around. Mm-hmm. Um. What? Since I get off of work earlier now, I can just shoot down there. I get down there early and grab y'all Friday night. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, we figure out life from there. Yes. All I need to get my hair done. I'm getting my hair done, so you could drop me off. Oh. Yeah. I can't order. Um, like 10, 9, 9. Jesus 10, Christ. 9. You don't want to take the car? No? Oh, wait, no, because you're going to be gone all day. Nah. That's that's exactly. a couple hours. Exactly. That's why it's like, just drop me there. Just mm-hmm. like, rally back or whatever. Oh, bye-bye. But <laughs> like yeah, but I gotta and I can't. I'm not gonna do that on Saturday, so you gotta get right for the. Wait, nine o'clock at night? Yes, on my way. Think yes, Friday, Friday, see him Friday. Me not do Friday, me Friday. I talk. <laughs> I me mean, think say Friday morning, y'all talk. No, my goodness, no. can't do it. Can't do it. Uh, I don't know how long it's gonna run into it. Okay, you'll be okay. <sighs> Yeah, I definitely that's no, that's definitely that's you can't take the care for them to something that come. I got my bed. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Listen, uh, we're here talking our business on the people them something. Anyway, no, y'all don't try to find me. Don't pop up. None of that. Don't, don't <laughs> even try it. Don't even try it. But if you want to igloo, say hi. Yes, say hi. Don't be weird. Don't walk by and be like, oh my god, is that is that pointless and dumb sugar? Yes, it's us. Say mm. hi. No. Wave at I'm least. My twin, I don't know. <laughs> like, yeah, just at least wave, you know. I'm probably going to have... Actually, no, my cooler will be there with all my pointless talk stickers all over it. So, you'll know for sure it's me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, you know, don't be weird. Say hi. Yeah. Um, But, yeah, be safe. Like you said, you know, we was doing outro. We started jumping up foolishness. But be safe. Yeah. <laughs> Um, everybody out here, we grown. And if you're not grown, you grown enough to be listening to this. So you should have enough sense to know to be safe. Take care of yourself in all the ways possible. Um, yes, be nice and be kind to one another. And yeah, you know, make sure you follow us (laughs) for the end of the, to his afterthought. Yeah. (laughs) that shit used to wild me out. Like you just finished promoting Jerry slackness, and then you come through with this like inspirational shit at the end. Like nigga, you don't realize I love one. For real? Oh my god, yes! It's because we don't want to see what's in front of us. But You've you know, seen that shit too much. <laughs> I used to watch. I used to watch that with my granny face. That's the line. Oh my god. <laughs> He'd be like, but at the end of it. You know, be kind to everyone. <laughs> and, and all that shit. And all that shit. I'd be like, boy, get the fuck on. Didn't people show their titties here? Like, what? Uh, it was just fighting. <laughs> Yo. But no. Yo, Jerry Springer back in the day, they used to actually physically fight. That real, I just want y'all real to know that. Jerry Springer, not the fake. Yeah. Real. Yeah. They used to draw blood on Jerry Springer, okay? No. Yo. But. <laughs> anyways um make sure y'all follow us on all the social media things um listen to us on all the streaming platforms we are on everybody's everything okay um you know what there these are ask fm soundcloud spotify apple Podcasts, google Podcasts, oh. amazon music oh. audible um yeah. iheart radio when i love this holy pop place what is something that Hello. Been? Go listen to so, it. Oh, there's literally no excuse. So YouTube. You you, to, you YouTube. Y'all got YouTube. YouTube. Listen to it on YouTube. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, and follow us on social media, Lion Young V on Twitter and Dem Sugar underscore on Instagram. Going soon. Yes, we are going to get the TikToks running. The TikTok is there. Y'all can follow it. I mean, Pointless Creates is on TikTok. Um, uh, Pointless Talks is also on TikTok, but ain't no content. <laughs> um <laughs> Maybe, maybe some content this weekend. You never know. Oh, true, true. Oh, boy. Right? Boy, boy. Right? Boy, yeah, boy. Right. Maybe, y'all. Maybe. We'll Stay tuned. Stay um, tuned. Um, make sure, you know, you follow Pointless Talks on all the things. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Pointless Creates for all your crafting needs. Oh! Oh, shit. Remember last week how I was excited about receiving my package? Yes. What's, what's going on? Wait, no, wait, no. I told you what happened with my package? How they delivered it to the next to the next door neighbor, like the yes. next building over. 
Yes, I remember that. So the next morning, I go to the office and I'm actually not call them because I went and knocked on people them door when I got home from work and I was like. Yeah, I'm not going to answer. Okay, bet. Next morning, I went and knocked again. They still ain't answered. So I left the post it. I was like, hey, I want my shit. Like, even if you opened it, I don't care. I need my shit. Like, exactly. So whenever I hear about nothing, so I called the office. I was like, hey, um, this might be a shot in the dark, but I'm just wondering if you guys can help me retrieve a package. It was delivered to, you know, this apartment. Da, da, da. I can understand it's an easy misconception. It was dark, whatever. Who cares? Yeah. Whatever. They were like, oh, we can try. In my head, I'm like, you really. I know it was delivered there. I have a picture of their fucking doorstep with the fucking oil stain on the floor. Like, I know it's their doorstep. Like, you Stop mean to tell me Stop you're okay with thieves being in your fucking complex? Don't play with me. So she was like, you know, we'll try. I said, all right, cool. So she, <laughs> so she called me back like in the afternoon, like probably about two, three o'clock. I was like, oh, I was able to get your package for you. I was like, okay, cool. You know, I'll see you when I get home. She's like, well, you have to come to the office with your ID to get it. Oh, I was like, excuse me, what? I was like, you can't just drop it at my door? Like, have one of the maintenance men in a little golf cart, like, just drop it at the door? Like, no? She was like, no, you need to come in with your ID so you can retrieve it. Okay. I was like, y'all can't put it in my mailbox? Because your hours, they close at, like, 6, and I get off work right. after that. So I was like, I'm not about to leave work at 5 o'clock to try to get to it because if I leave work at 6.30, it's, I mean, 5.30, I'm definitely not going to get there because traffic is a bitch. Yeah. So, like, I'm going to have to leave at least an hour before to... So I'm like, I'm not about to leave work hours early to go... Like, really, what? And she was like, oh, no, we don't have access to the mailbox. And I was like, you know, I don't feel like arguing because I know that if y'all need to get in my mailbox, y'all be able to get in my mailbox. Exactly. But we're not going to do this. So... And I was like, and also, y'all have a key to my apartment because y'all come in here to do fucking surface inspections. Y'all could just open the door and throw it in the apartment. Why do I need to go? Right. Mm. So I was like, you know what? I want my shit. So I woke up early the next morning and I went down there and I went to go get my shit. And listen, the lady in the office, that big pussy wall, you know what I mean? Because, Whoa. no, from day one, from day one, day one, this bitch been playing with me. You know, we're not even going to go there. We're supposed to be doing the outro. Either way, long story short, Whoa. I showed the lady my ID, and then she mm -hmm. went in the back to go get it. The hair office manager. Did she show her ID? What the hell? I looked at her. I said, yes, I did. Like, what's, what's, what's the problem? Like, what's up with them? Like, What's okay. the problem? Like, she really... Nah, man. She... Who? Mm. I'm gonna like her. Don't like her at all, because... Some other fuckery happened that whatever. But mm -hmm. I was just like, what is your problem? You on a power trip? For real. Over a damn bag. You don't even know what's in the bag. And also, the people that did open my package, because you know how they seal the bag, and then they mm -hmm. have, like, the inner seal so that you can, yeah. like, re return the package if something's wrong with it. Definitely had the inner, inner seal resealed. And I was just like, you nosy know, bitches. Y'all looked in here and saw there wasn't nothing that y'all could use, bitches. Exactly. That's what you get. What? Let's retro, no? But yes. So... <laughs> I gotta yeah. go craft and get my shit together. I was actually supposed to do that tonight, but like I said, is it what? But is it what you thought it was? It's good. Oh yes, oh yes. Okay. I'm I'm excited. Oh, and you know, I, of course, I filed a claim with um Amazon, so I got two now. So yeah. Anyways, um, they sent my replacement and put you know it in my what? mailbox. You know what? Bro? I... <laughs> it's it's the principle because y'all hire people who don't know how to follow directions. Now send me my shit. <laughs> I don't oh, care. Oh, friend. Oh, friend. Mm -mm. No. <laughs> no, friend. That's the first time I ever did that. I, I never did that before. And it was cheap. It was like $7. But wink, it's the principle. Wink, wink. wink. <laughs> no, for wink, when wink. I told her enough Matisse, other people don't. Have wink. I done it before? I don't think I've done it. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Yeah, no, you're going to ask me if you would do it before. No, I haven't. You can just no, say. Didn't you ask to say this? I had person? to make sure because you said wink, wink. So now I had to think like maybe I told you some. You know my memory bad, but um, but yes, follow us for more fuckery and um, yes. just like everything else we do over here at Pointless Talks, Pointless Creates, Pointless Everything. Whether you got here on purpose or by fate, thank you so so much for following for following. But Jesus Christ for listening mm -hmm. to this episode of Pointless Talks. Bye. Yeah, nice. <laughs>